Welcome back guys to Final Fantasy 13 with Lightning and Hope striding off on their own. I feel the battle is brewing on the big bridge in front of us. Cue Gilgamesh theme, even though it's not him. Let's find out who. This isn't working. Huh? I mean, you're a liability. You'll just slow me down. What? I'm sorry, but I can't protect you when... Uh, uh, you can't leave me here. You've got to take me with you. Enough! The whole world is against us. Uh, I can barely keep myself alive. Let alone some helpless kid! Uh, I don't have time to baby you. You want to get tough? Do it on your own! This cannot be happening! Here we go, yet another Eidolon appears, and this time it's Odin. Of course, this time as well, our main character who summons the Eidolon actually has health. So what have we got going on here? Stats and immunities are quite good. Yields to those who amass chain bonuses, and we got to do this twice. Hurts like hell? Oh my god, really hurts. Yields to those who heal the wounded. Which is very handy right now. Double dose, quick, heal, heal. And now me, now me. Have we got a buff paradigm? This might be a good idea. He seems to be putting on some kind of shield now. Oh, he's blocking. If I can buff myself so I take less damage, then we can work on the chain bonuses as well. The building is gauged slowly at the moment, so we obviously need to do some attacking as well. With both those buffs on him, we're quite set, I'd say. So we're just looking for chain bonuses. So is a double Ravager the way to go? Yes, double Ravager. And then every so often... Switch back and heal. Cool. Follow my lead. That's gonna go down quite nicely. We just gotta make sure we build it up fast enough. With the bus on as well, his damage has been taken away quite significantly. Ah, we're getting there now. Kill me a bit. And I aim to build that chain gauge a little bit higher. Oh, except I can't. Quick, go for him while he's in the shield phase, because it actually is building up really fast now. I love how everyone seems to know how to tame their summons as well. They're not just things to just straight kill. But look at that. Target time was 26 minutes 20 and we did it in 2. Of course, you can't do it in that time because of the doom stat is on you anyway. But still, that looks really random. An Odin Idolith. ATB level up. Lightning gain ATB gauge segments. So now she has 4. Lightning. Whoa. Your brand looks different. Was that an Eidolon? Like Lasekin summon? Magic and mumbo jumbo. 
I must have hit my head on that purge train. <sighs> um... Am I really in your way? <sighs> I'll do better. I'll try harder. Oh. I'll... We'll toughen you up. Huh? I'm sorry about before. <laughs> and here we go with yet another pronunciation error. See, the funny thing is, like, you play these games from when you're a kid. Final Fantasy's been a series that's gone on ages and most of it was just by text so if you never actually heard a word how can you do anything but pronounce it the way that you can visualize it in your head unless you look for a dictionary or a thesaurus and look for the actual word written out in the in phonetics if you know what I mean so for example a uh, behemoth it's behemoth but I always call it behemoth because that was my first oh that must be what it is so same with this idolin it's Eidolon, and I've always called it an Eidolon. Or oh, Eidolon. Eidolon. Okay, we get that now, okay. But I'll probably still call it the same thing no matter what, so you're just gonna have to put up with it. The sea. Got my back? Yeah. Gestalt mode. Ah, we're going to be trying out our summon at last. This tutorial explains how to enter Gestalt mode with an Eidolon. Eidolon. Lightning can spend technical points TP to summon Odin, her personal Eidolon. <laughs> Only Lightning can summon Odin. Select techniques from the battle menu and then choose a summon command. Yeah, we'll just stick with summons maybe. That would be better. Summon costs free then. Odin. Odin. Cut us a path. Okay, take a look at the Eidolon's SP gauge below. The SP gauge is depleted gradually over time, and also whenever the Eidolon takes damage. If it reaches zero, the Eidolon will be dismissed. It's going to be really hard for me to get this right. It's really hard for me to read that, funnily enough. After summoning an Eidolon, you can press X to activate Gestalt mode at any time. I'm probably saying that wrong. This mode allows you to perform powerful attacks on the back of your Eidolon. Pay close attention to the Lightning's Gestalt gauge. This gauge represents Gestalt mode's duration. Your Eidolon will appear when Gestalt mode expires, so it is best to activate it after the gauge is charged. To charge the Gestalt Gauge, help your Eidolon attack enemies and build chain gauges. Okay, so we're just trying to build that gauge up as much as possible. And Odin's probably not going to die in the meantime because he's got a ton of HP. Combat controls are slightly different in Gestalt mode. Press the button shown by the Gestalt dial to execute attacks. The dial's count will decrease each time you use an ability. When it reaches zero, your Eidolon will be dismissed. I'll help you! It's cool! I've got the health going in, even though you're literally killing everything. It's fine, we're killing everything. Gain more Gestalt gauge, Odin, quickly! Oh well, we can activate it anyway, I think. Let's do it. We do this together! Huh? Let's ride! Okay, so we got like up and A, Storm Blade, and it takes time. Okay, Razor Gale. Lightning Strikes. Yeah. Wonderful. We can constantly keep attacking no matter how we want it. 
But at the end of it all, we've got to use Zantetsuka. So may as well use it now. The storm is here! Until next time. So we're left with one Ulan left. And hope to come in and help us out. So hope actually got completely flawed, I think, at that moment. That cry was not one of I've been hit, that cry was one of like I've been knocked out. Stop with your evil rocketing. Stagger already. We don't like you. That's basically Eidolon level 1. Or 101 is what I was trying to say. Man, with those new word pronunciations, I'm just going to be there like, ah, oh, my mind's going to be off on one for the rest of the episode now. Electrolytic capacitor. We'll stop here. Sorry. Don't sweat it. I'll look around. You rest up. sign of soldiers guess lightning got their attention I wonder how hope's doing they were headed towards Palampolo kids on his way home you can bet on it good for him hmm? what's wrong it's good if they manage to slip in quietly. All of Cocoon is in the grip of pulse phobia. If a lassie pops up on the radar, all oh, hell will break loose. They don't even know why they're scared. Afraid of what they don't know. Afraid to find out more. It gets worse the older you get. I'm terrified of what'll happen. The world probably would be better off without Pulse the Sea. I, I mean, most of them. Gee, thanks. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> she takes insults very well, doesn't she? And moving over to the other half of the party, gone the complete and utter opposite way. But first of all, we got CP saved up from the other guys fighting. Let's get some levels on very, very quick. Hup. Which is the cheapest way to level? Actually, we're going to get you Blitz. I've decided that straight off the bat. If you're going to be a commando, you've got to have Blitz. Because your Blitz is one of the coolest in the game. 
Apart from you, what's the easiest thing to level for you? That costs 320. 320. So they don't have the same kind of system as the other guys. They have to pay 320 or whatever it is. Right then. The other thing, of course, is to generate good paradigms. So we've got... They're fairly good at the moment, actually. Dual Ravager. Uh, Synergist Healer would probably be good. And uh, Sab Commando has been really good for us. Or Sab Ravager, actually. So maybe we'll get that as well. In fact, I might start that off as my base one and move on from there with a commando. Get the debuffs on and then work on everyone else. I'm sure the robots must have built all this, strangely enough. I didn't see the need for them to build all this, but maybe they did. And this is a bomb. It may not look like a bomb, it may look like some kind of puzzle kind of thing. Trust me, it go boom. Don't use don't use flame strike against it. Don't use flame strike. There we go. Arrow. It's obviously fire because it's red. Get with the program. So we need ice or water, really. So if we dual cast, I think water is there. We have to play to these elemental weaknesses quite radically now, so that was really low scoring. Do we get D shell on and then quickly switch to the dual cast paradigm? Ciao! Don't run off without me, hey! I echo Saz's sentiments when he gets frustrated by all of you guys just legging it off in opposite directions. So now I know what not to cast at it. Ow. And now we die. Quick heal. Heal me. Yes, you healed me. You saved us, Vanille. You're so good. You healed me at the last second. And we won. <laughs> Vanille, you're amazing. <laughs> that was close. That was very, very close. Okay, bombs might be something we want to avoid for the current time. Unless we start in Rav Rav. That hurt. Nothing to it. Races. Is there a control thing on the other side? Get on, lady. Oh, we're just gonna walk across. That makes sense as well, actually. Right, bomb first at all times. Get the shell on it. Okay, you didn't actually manage to. But oh well, we need to kill it before the really bad stuff starts happening. Right, back to undermine. We'll we'll take these pulse shoul shoul soldiers the way we always do. Get the debuffs on. We'll slowly build up the gauge. Not doing very well with these debuffs at the moment, are you? There we go. Well, that guy's unable to attack now, so I didn't really need to heal. Look at the damage going in. And his crazy fighting poses. Sass is a badass. We're not earning much experience from these guys, so we've got to watch out for that. See if we can find a way to get more. Most importantly, we need up there. Can we activate these things, or do we have to turn them on somehow? 
We have to use a magnet to get that pathway over. There's ways around the places, but they're all shut off. This? Looks like it doesn't work. Okay, doesn't work. Needs power. Okay. <laughs> I understood. I knew that beforehand. It's fine. That doesn't look tasty, though. That looks like go this way. Question. Can we dodge those guys? Because if not, things are going to get really painful really fast. We could start in the double paradigm of and dual cast. It's too bad we don't have water with Saz. We're not really slipping through here, are we? Kill the bomb really fast. I'm stunning it. More water, faster. Thank God. Did you see that coming? Get the other one because it might explode. We need healing as well as the problem. Quick with the water lady. We got there. Okay, symbiosis. Heal me up, Scotty. Hey, we got this. Now the debuffs go on, and Saz is dealing extra damage through buffs. He says the debuffs goes on, but it doesn't work that way. The luck seems to be a lot lower than it was before. Follow the old man's lead. Alright, let's get this guy staggered. And do the finishing blows. Bit of a long fight, but it went down well. Not a five star by any means, but we still get experience no matter what. I'm just glad to have not been killed by those two bombs, and also no way to use this Ira. This place seems deadly, I have to say. Might want to change back my paradigm just a little bit. It's more the fact that the bombs went on the same guy and they both flamed each other so they get. Oh, hello. I'll fight you guys. You guys hopefully won't do anything extremely blowing up EB of me. Please. In fact, you don't have much HP, do you, sir? Especially with a debuff on you. And you're obviously weak to wind. This undermined strategy does work, just not against bombs where we need to deal the damage right there and then. Singular bombs, it could work great, however. Multiple bombs, no. Multiple bombs is just asking to get my, you know, my butt kicked. I'm not really leaving. You always leave me all the time. What are you complaining about? And for some reason, I'm still queuing Flame Strike. Oh, the fire is its weakness. I may as well just fire one fire. Did you see that coming? More debuffs, please, madame. You're actually really failing with your debuffing today. What is up with you? That is a complete and utter fail. They're not even immune. Oh, not that we actually know if they're immune or not. Which begs the question, actually, are these a different kind? Vanille. No, they're not. We just can't get the weaknesses on. A 
And that was a slow fight like anything, so debuffing them is probably not the best idea. Let's change back to a much more neutral, off-used paradigm. Pick ourselves up an Ember Ring, which might help against the bombs, to be honest. We come across some kind of power station. Hi, I wish to fight you. Let's get this over with. Let's kill the gremlins. That's the way to do it. We can kill them in one kind of pack chain. As long as no one interrupts us. I'll go the normal way for these guys. Dagger. Come on, Vanille. Get there. Do it. Let's go. One more hit. Who's going to get it? Saz. The man with his crazy gun poses. Now we start getting five stars again. Who'd have thought? Right, so what do we have up here? Pulse with nine and a bomb. I can take that. That commando probably would work Let's fairly well on them. So it's, it's one of the huge ruins. But that actually took him down in one attack chain, so I'm happy. Do some more work on this guy, get him staggered. We really need the CP, but they're not giving us a lot of CP anymore, so we can't really get any big stat gains. Let's go for the finisher. Finil's turn this time. The magic mistress herself. I actually need to build up more TP, but what do we have here? Better not electrocute myself. It seems... Yes, we're turning the power relays on, if I'd have to guess. Wondering where this way went then. Tough to Phoenix down. Nothing too big, nothing too small. Double bomb, so this could prove drastically tragic or really, really fine. Depending on who they target first. No, stay over there. Do not. Yes, they didn't double do each other. It looks like one's actually further along than the other. Well, possibly because he was on lower HP, because I think if they reach full HP, that's the point where they're bound to explode. Do not cast fire, sir. Just let me kill you. Man, I made that first set of double bombs look hard. Let's give this a shot. Hmm. Gotta hit four control panels. Last two, sir. A lot easier enemy combination over here. Oh, I'm preemptive. Can we just start this over? Time to kill a bomb. Did you see that coming? And we got the stagger as well. That's cool. Hopefully we should be able to kill this guy in time, but we don't have the debuffs that we normally do on him. So that's gonna actually not enable us to kill him. Do a lot of damage to him, but not kill him. The debuffs really do count for getting that quick kill. Uh -huh. 
Keep casting, madam. Now for the actual finisher. Pulse machines can't be that different. And that's free switches, guys, and that's where I'm going to leave you. Because that's the end of the episode time-wise, so thank you guys for watching. Tune in next time to find out what the fourth switch will do. What will happen to the entire area. Will we restore the power and be able to get all those treasure chests all the way back? Tune in and find out. Thank you guys for watching. See you around.